Number 10. Langsat. This small, shiny, round fruit is mostly found in Southeast Asia and has recently been introduced in Hawaii. Like a lot of fruit, it can be very sour when it isn't ripe, but deliciously sweet when it is ready to eat. Its taste can be a bit similar to a bittersweet grapefruit, and it grows in bunches close to the trunk and branches of its tree. The way it's picked is pretty primitive. All the picker does is shake the tree. The riper the fruit, the more likely the fruit will come down. Number 9. Mangosteen. You've heard of mangoes, right? Sure, but you might not have heard about the mangosteen, or the mongkut as it's called, unless you're from Thailand. This fruit is even called the queen of Thai fruits. When you open its thick purple peel, you find an elegant segmented white flesh. The mongkut is grown in the south of Thailand, but even though the country is generally warm year-round, the mongkut season only lasts a few months, from May to September. If you're ever in Thailand during those months, make sure to get a taste of this delicious, sweet, and luxurious fruit. Number 8. Aruku What's extremely exotic to us isn't so original in every rural household in the Amazon. As a matter of fact, the Aruku plant is probably as common there as an orange tree in Florida or an olive tree in Greece. Achiote, Bixa, or Alana, as it's called in Latin, its scientific name is a shrub, a small South American tree. It's also cultivated in Southeast Asia, where the Spanish introduced it in the 17th century. It's best known as the source of the natural pigment anato. The shrub's fruit gives us that color. Number 7. Agwe Fruit Like many fruit, the agwe must be peeled so we can eat its flesh. What's unusual about this guy is it's covered with reddish scales, which actually protect it from many animals. A little like a mango, people eat it by scraping the flesh over their bottom teeth until they get to its large pit. The agwe is a great source of vitamins A and C, and its pulp can be used to treat burns. And when fermented, it becomes a delicious wine. Number 6. Star Fruit You've probably seen the star fruit already, because it's gaining popularity in the United States. Also known as carambola, it got its name from its five-point star shape when it's cut across the middle. Its skin is waxy, golden yellow, sometimes a bit green, and offers a vast array of flavors that will remind you of plums, pineapples, and lemons. Number 5. A Key A key is a tropical fruit native to West Africa, where it's known as a key but in Jamaica, it's legendary. It was brought to the Caribbean in the 18th century and became Jamaica's national fruit. It's also half of Jamaica's signature dish, a key and salt fish. Sometimes people call the a key a vegetable brain because only the inner brain-shaped yellowish part is edible. What is a bit scary though is if it's eaten the wrong way, it can make you very sick. It can cause what's called Jamaican vomiting sickness, which can even lead to coma or death. Number 4. Physalis The Physalis has an unusual lantern-like husk and is part of what's known as the nightshade family. In the same family, we're much more familiar with tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. Since the Physalis has a mild, refreshing acidity close to the tomatoes, it can be used in many of the same recipes. Can you imagine having spaghetti and Physalis sauce? Number 3. Rambutan some people think the rambutan is the strangest looking fruit ever. In Malay, Indonesian, and Filipino, rambutan literally means hairy, so you can understand why they call the fruit that when you see it. On the outside, it's magenta, with green hairy legs all over it, but inside it looks like a lychee fruit. It's clear and gummy, it's also very watery and has a huge seed in the middle. It tastes pretty good, but the rambutan makes the list because of its peculiar look. Number 2. Buddha's Hand you can guess where the Buddha's hand got its name, although we certainly hope the Great One's hands weren't curled and arthritic looking like this citrus fruit, plus it has many more fingers than a human hand. The yellow and green fruit is not really eaten per se, not as is at least. It's thick, lemony rind and heart. The white part you see is often candied and made into a delicious citrus delicacy, and sometimes it's infused with spirits or made into liqueurs. The small amount of flesh inside is really sour so people rarely use it in food. Plus, the fruit sells for about $25 a pound. That's pretty steep. Number 1. Squared Watermelon Have you ever seen the squared watermelon before? It's the brainchild of a farmer on Japan's southwestern island of Shikoku who thought that having a big round watermelon in your fridge just wasn't practical. 
So he came up with the idea of making a cubed shaped watermelon, which would be simpler to pack and store. So he started growing melons in glass boxes, and the fruit just naturally assumed the shape. 20 years later, cuboid watermelons are available in select stores and upscale supermarkets. Since it's really expensive, 10,000 yen, which is the equivalent of about 83 US dollars, it appeals mostly to wealthy and trendy people in Tokyo and Osaka, Japan's two major cities.